a welcome back to the after break session life and message of swami vivekananda i am feeling that we are not doing the justification for the topic of teachings of ramakrishna paramahansa sharada mata swami vivekananda but please uh, keep in your mind we are just trying to create an awareness about this great masters okay we are not doing a justice for this topics but we are creating an awareness so in future we have to study a lot about this great masters okay so now swami vivekananda is a world famous figure who is by far the most important disciple of the great master sri ramakrishna paramahamsa so swami vivekananda took birth on january 12 1863 his name was narendranath his childhood name was the narendranath and his mother name is bhuvaneshwari devi the bhuvaneshwari devi used to worship lord shiva a lot for the worthy son for a noble son so he was she was blessed by the lord shiva so he given the name she given the name to swami vivekananda childhood name as a narendranath datta and he bhuvaneshwari devi took every opportunity to educate her son narendranath it was her lap that narendranath first become aware of the glory of the gods and the goddesses the greatness of the sages of india and the tales and great characters of ramayana and mahabharata great indian epics see the mother plays very very important role for the character of the child so this message is for all the mothers of course the fathers are also having the role but more than the father mother plays very important role for the character of the child if whatever we are today our character that is we are got the inspiration from our mother because from the childhood days bhuvaneshwari devi used to inculcate the great values while teaching the stories explaining about the ramayana and mahabharata so swami vivekananda inspired by those stories the training of the mother the example of the father and the inspiration of the teacher these are the factors mostly respect responsible for molding a person's character what are the three roles we say in the upanishad also matru devo bhava pitru devo bhava acharya devo bhava matru devo bhava so mother what is the role of the mother the training of the mother pitru devo bhava the example of the father the child is all the time watching the father because the father is given a high respect in the family so hence the child will be observing so all the children will try to think i should become like my father because you know in my family everyone is respecting this person so i should be like this so the father gives the father is a role model the example and the children will get the inspiration from the teachers when they go to the school so in every person's life the three people plays very important role of course the circumstances other things also will plays the role but these three are most important the first person is the mother second is the father the third comes the teacher mother is the training father is the example and teacher is for the inspiration so naren's father vishwanath datta played a significant role in his son's education he was lavish in his gifts one day narendranath asked this is a common in today also people will ask even after getting the 50 years or 60 years if the father is alive this fellow will go and ask what did you do for me nuvu na kem ichnavu nuvu na kem chesnavu it is common father is lying down on the bed at the age of 90 years and the son is a 70 years and goes to the father says nuvu na kem ichnavu nuvu na kem chesnavu Huh? everyone purchases so many lands you didn't purchase anything you didn't do anything you didn't do that and this vivekananda also when he was a young boy he went to his father he asked one question what have you done for me oh my dear father 
Now look at the teachings of the father. What father told to Swami Vivekananda, the Narayanada, okay, you are asking me, what have you done for me? You just go and stand in front of the mirror, you will know what I gave in to you, what I given to you. You just go and stand in front of the mirror, go look at yourself in the mirror and you will see that I have done for you. So really, mirror mga telavartainanabisundi. So when you stand in front of the mirror, what you see? You see yourself. Father says, I gave that one to you. This body is given to you. Sell your kidneys, you will get the 2 to 5 lakhs rupees that I gave it to you. Now this body is given to you. From that onwards, Swami Vivekananda never raised this issue that what you have done to me. From that time onwards, Swami Vivekananda only talking about the contribution, not like a consumer. It's a great lesson. Many people we think, what my parents given, my parents didn't give anything to me. Are you are going to stand in front of the mirror. You will see what your parents are given to you. Who gave this body to you? Yeah? It's not your parents. Still you are blaming the parents. They are not given anything to me. Who gave this body to you? The precious instrument vehicle, the body is given to you. You are not keeping in a good condition and you are neglected. You are parents, but they are giving this body to you. Nine months, mother is carried you in the womb. Can you just imagine, think, the nine months you are one with your mother, how much pain mother is undergone when you are there in the mother, you are kicking the mother inside and you are going the one and two, everything in the mother's womb. And mother, when she is giving the delivery to you, it is like a second birth to the mother. How much pains? Just imagine. And we ask, what you gave it to me? You didn't give anything to me? This life itself is a given to you. So Swami Vivekananda said to my father, I owe my intellect and my compassion. So from that day onwards, as a Narendra, he changed his way of thinking. Then one of the famous quotation by Swami Vivekananda, Arise, awake and stop not till the goal is reached. This is one of the great quotation. <laughs> and Swami Vivekananda says, What we want is vigor in the blood, strength in the nerves and iron muscles and nerves of steel, not softening numbi pumbi ideas. He says, make yourself strong. And he used to advise a hey, youth of India, you play the football. Instead of studying the Bhagavad Gita, you play the football. Make yourself strong so that you can understand Bhagavad Gita better. With a weak mind, with a weak body, when you study the Upanishads, when you study the Bhagavad Gita, what you can understand? You cannot understand anything. So hence, make your body strong, make your mind strong. Then you study. He says, we don't want the Nambi Pambi ideas. Nose should be like a steel. Mm, vigor should be there in the blood. Strength in the nerves, iron muscles. This is what we want. And he used to comment on the education. He says, what we want are Western science coupled with Vedanta. Best of the East with the best of the West. He all the time used to say this one. We have to couple our education, our Vedanta with the Western science. He never neglected the science. He never neglected the Western culture, Western developments. So you take the science and mix our Vedanta, our Upanishads, our Bhagavad Gita with the science. Then you can do the wonders. Huh? And he used to ask everyone, Sir, have you seen the God? Have you seen the God from the school days onwards? No one is given a proper answer. And he used to he was the member in the Brahma Samaj those days in the Calcutta, one of the popular organization. But he was not happy anywhere because everyone is asking only one question. Sir, have you seen God? Have you seen God? Yeah, finally, he's a college lecturer. Uh, direct same towards the Ramakrishna Paramahamsa. When he meets the Ramakrishna Paramahamsa in the Calcutta, the first time Ramakrishna Paramahamsa says, I was looking for you, I was waiting for you, where you were all these days. I thought, we were nothing, hey? how this person knows about me? 
Now he's saying that he's waiting for me. I'm coming first time. But in the first interaction, it becomes the best interaction. Huh? It becomes a wonderful line. And Swami Vivekananda is having the photographic memory. He used to go to the library, get the two, three books every day and return the books next day. One day librarian got annoyed. Hey, what are you doing? Are you playing a, a Joe with me? Every day taking so many books and bringing back. Are you studying or not? Are you reading or not? Then he says, I read all the books. If you want, you can ask any question from any page in any book. And this person opens the book randomly and he says the page number. Then immediately Swami Vivekananda explains everything, whatever is given in that page. This uh, librarian got astonished, got shocked. Oh my God. Then he says, this person is having the photographic memory. Like when you and me, we will read word by word. Some people will read the sentences. But Swami Vivekananda used to read page by page. Like a scanning these days. You scan, you change the page, put the scan. You change the page, put the scan. Like Swami Vivekananda looks at the page, the page, everything photographic, click. Turn the page, click. Turn the page, click. This modern day, the people are using the smartphones for the clicking the photographs. But Swami Vivekananda used to click the photographs with his brain, with his mind. Turn the page, click, everything is stored. Hmm? And one day, Swami Vivekananda, he was doing the sitting in a meditation for the deep sadhanas. Ramakrishna Paramta comes and tells, what are you doing? I am trying to get my moksha. I am working on my sadhanas to gain moksha. Then Ramakrishna Paramsa says, I thought you are going to become a big banyan tree where you can give the shelter for so many thousands of the people. You are doing the things for your own selfish. Come on. You need to educate the people. You need to teach many people. That's what the message he got from Swami. Uh, from his Guru Ramakrishna Paramahamsa. So Ramakrishna Paramahamsa left the body on the 16th August 1886. Then afterwards, Swami Vivekananda took the responsibility of all the other disciples. Then started working on taking care. And Swami Vivekananda gives one important quotation. It is, take up one idea, make that one idea your life. Think of it, dream of it, live in that idea. Let the brain, muscles, nerves and every part of your body be full of that idea and just leave every other idea alone. This is the way to success and this is the way great spiritual gains are produced. Others are mere talking machines. He says, take up one idea, make that one idea in your life. And this, this quotation inspired, got the inspiration to Ekanath Ranade, Ekanath Ranade, who constructed the Vivekananda Rock Memorial at Kanya Kumari. R Swami Vivekananda, when he was uh, traveling as a wandering monk, he reached the uh, Kanya Kumari, where he wanted to do meditation on that rock memorial, on that rock, where it was believed Mother Parvati did the penance for the Lord Shiva. So that particular place you want to do meditation. And he goes the Kanyakumari. It is an ocean. The rock is there <coughs> in the ocean, not the, on the banks. And he requests some people, a boatsman, can you please take me there? Boats people says, no, we cannot come now. So without any second idea, he jumped into the ocean. He swam across the ocean. He went, reached on the rock memorial. And there he did the three nights and the three days meditation on Mother India. Facing towards the Mother India, he started doing the meditation, thinking about the problems of India, what to do, what, what not to do for India, how can I take this India to the higher glories. Before going to the Chicago, he was there in the uh, Rock Memorial. Then afterward, this Eknath Ranade, who is the a strong follower of Swami Vivekananda took up the project as Swami Vivekananda said, take up one idea, make that one idea or your life. So Eknath Ranade took that idea and he built the rock memorial, very beautiful memorial. I have been there so many times. It is given the picture in the page number 162 of your study material. 
and if when you get a chance you please visit where the three oceans are meeting in one point and the speciality of that place where you can see sunrise and sunset also same place and swami vivekananda when he went to the america which is the first lecture itself he got the attention of the entire world the starting a short speech started with sisters and brothers of america is a capturing the minds of millions even today the message of vedanta which he had broadcast abroad will continue to inspire people everywhere for centuries to come even today in so many countries swami vivekananda's teachings are taking place and once when he interacted with the jamshed ji tata he inspired the jamshed ji tata to establish the iits in india and also so many industries so he got the inspiration to start the iit as well as iis in mumbai and so many other uh, entrepreneurships for the benefit of the others until today this tata company the tata organization is not run by one person even though you say ratan tata jamshed ji tata they are not the owners of the tata company how they created they created a trust for the tata group so ratan tata is one of the trustee it is a trust who is taking care and all the profits in the tata company are used for the benefit of the society till today till today whatever the profits they comes in the tata group in the tata company the different subsidiary companies all of them are used for the upliftment of the society they do so many charities in a silent way because i have seen some of their activities in the himalayas in the rishikesh some other places so many dharmic activities so that the trustees cannot take the money from the trust so ratan tata is the only the trustee is not the owner so that is the inspiration the god the jamshed ji tata from the swami vivekananda they are dedicated their entire family for the upliftment of the world but they are doing in a such a way like a corporate style business style they do they earn the money and they spend for the uh, benefit of the society in a, some different areas in different places so this is about in a, a brief of the brief of swami vivekananda definitely i can say that we have not done the justification but there are so much is there to learn on swami vivekananda life history of swami vivekananda teachings of swami vivekananda i am also getting some inspiration teaching this bic program to all of you so now i am also thinking so let me do some talks on like a series of talks on swami vivekananda from complete works of swami vivekananda uh, and some of the story sessions from ramakrishna paramahamsa ramakrishna paramahamsa given so many stories in the ramakrishna kathamrutam i think we have to take those stories like a giving the talks on the stories teaching the stories uh, story time means everyone will be interested at the same time some higher philosophy also comes so this is the things where i am getting the inspiration teaching to all of you and i thank you to our srinivas reddy garu and our pradeep and all of you for giving this opportunity to share whatever little i know with all of you in this couple of weeks teaching this yes syllabus but in the most of the places i feel we have not done the 100% justice for the topics and because this is the only the yic see keeping in the mind the yic syllabus only just we are touching the topics and moving forward and please don't conclude yourself that the teachings are over the study is over no it is not completed yic means it is just a beginning so that is the reason in the s vyasa whatever you want to study the beginning course is a yic yic is a compulsory that is their protocol even if you want if you are having the qualifications of the ministry of ayush all the four levels but if you want to do some program some diploma in sysa they will ask you to do yic first now you might have been done the phd in yoga in some other university they don't care so for them the yic is a basic so i congratulate all of you for taking this yic in the swami vivekananda yoga ashram of the s vyasa university 
so my congratulations my best wishes to all of you so please continue your study and don't stop even after completing the yic try to take bhagavad gita or ramakrishna kathamrutam ramakrishna kathamrutam is so simple like a story reading book and it is available in online also you can get it or and the ramakrishna mat publishes these books and subsidiary rates very 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 cheap so you can get those books and not only for yourself get some books whenever you buy any book don't buy one book buy the two books one is for you one is to give someone else as a gift so we, that is also some punya you can get some punya any time because the books are very cheap maybe 10 rupees 15 rupees each book so buy the two books what is that or you give it to your child tell your child so now your birthday is coming on this birthday take these books give it to your friends what do we do our oh, birthday is coming let us celebrate invite all your friends let us hold some party and this drinks that drinks cool drinks of if the elder party the other hot drinks if the younger party cool drinks and cakes and all these things so what you do the ramakrishna mat is publishing these books like a 5 rupees 10 rupees books are there small 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 booklets and on your child's birthday you buy 100 books and tell your child to distribute you don't distribute so when you make your child to distribute the child also will get the inculcating some values of giving contributor you don't give you make your child to give and when you go to temple also <coughs> sometimes you put some money in the hundi na what do you do not only you put the money in the hundi you give some money to your child to put into the hundi so from the childhood days onwards you have to inculcate or when you are giving the donation some beggar comes in front of your house if you are giving something you don't give you tell your child to give so this person this child from the childhood slowly learns the values oh we have to take care of the society this is the thing so we have to do and when this person grows he will remember you know my mother used to say to give the donation to this beggar give something to this beggar the poor people and this fellow will remember and he will share he or she will share with their children see your glory will be remembered by your great grandchildren and society is taken care all these things you will get the more inspiration from swami vivekananda so with this i conclude our topic then afterwards we can open the forum for any discussions om sarve bhavantu sukhina sarve santu niramaya sarve bhadrani pashyantu na kashchi dukkha bhavavet om shanti 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 hari om tat sat om om thank you